Hey guys, it's Lainey, and today I'm doing my February book haul. During the month of February, I did accumulate some books. Some I was able to order because I read my five books before I could buy any books, and some of them were gifts from my parents. I got some pre-orders and books that were sent to me by Entangled Teen. So let's get started. The two pre-orders, which was the only exception to my rule of reading five before I could buy, one of them was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, and this was the Carpe Librum book pick of the month for February. I actually already have a very, very long review for this book on my channel. A lot of thoughts were put into that video. So if you have read this book and you would like to know my thoughts, go ahead and watch it. I'm not completely nice to it, but I'm not awful to it, so keep that in mind. This was a 3 out of 5 book for me. I was a little disappointed. I thought the hype got the better of this book. That's just my opinion. My second pre-order was Invaded by Melissa Landers. This is the second book in the Alienated series. I read Alienated back in January and I really loved it and I read the novella so I'm completely caught up. It's not like my favorite series I've ever read but I very much enjoyed it while I was reading it. I want to get to this soon. My goal was to get to it in February but that clearly didn't happen but I still want to get to it fairly soon because it's still, the series is still fresh in my mind, so I won't forget any details or anything like that. Two books I was sent to me by the publisher, Entangled Teen. They sent me two contemporaries. Contemporaries aren't my favorite. I received Paper or Plastic by Vivi Barnes and How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts. This book tells the story of a girl who shoplifts at like a Walmart type store and then instead of getting uh, it put on her record. The store allows her to work there for a summer. She must meet a guy because it's, I mean, clearly this cover implies that she meets someone. This is a story about how um, a rich girl, her dad, like, loses all their money and then skips town, leaving them, like, homeless? I'm gonna use that term loosely. But she ends up working at her uncle's thrift store and she meets a boy, obviously. Towards the beginning of the month of February, I completed my fifth book. Of from what I've been reading since January and February so I was able to order some books and I want to first say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me every time I tweet about this uh, reading five before you buy because that has really motivated me to stick with it because it has been really hard even after I finish the five books before I can order I really don't go crazy with um, the buying like these this first batch I'm about to show you is only three books so I'm still like pretty limited in what I'm like buying but it's still nice to feel accomplished and knowing that I finished five books I bought Cold Magic by Kate Elliott this is a fantasy adult fantasy novel um, it is a trilogy it is the Spirit Walker trilogy and this is the first one I first saw these books on Jillian from Bookish and Nerdy's channel of course because I could never watch one of her book hauls without adding at least 10 books to my wish list I really wanted to get this one because one the covers really 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 appealed to me I really like the covers and then the second reason was because it's like an alternative Victorian era so like the map in here is like really cool like this is the map and it just like it's like you can see this is Europe but everything's like named differently and it's like still in Victorian like um the em the Roman Empire is like still kicking here in Italy and I just I love that like oh my gosh I'm so excited to start this I think it might be a little bit of steampunk too even though I've never read steampunk because there's like some clockwork steam machines going on in the background so I guess we will see next book that I ordered in that batch was Ever True by Brody Ashton. This is the third and final book of the Everneath trilogy, which I have read already. I finished the series, so I feel really accomplished that I started and finished the series pretty much since January and February. This was the final conclusion, and I was a little disappointed with how it ended. And this one I rated a 3 out of 5 because I just didn't like how it ended. But I still, I still recommend the entire series. I do. Last book I ordered of that batch was Nightshade by Michelle Rowan, a.k.a. Morgan Rhodes, my favorite author. This is a adult paranormal romance. This book actually has to do with vampires and half vampires and serums and everything is crazy in this book. I love it. Um, I already read it, obviously. Ugh, I keep wanting to like describe everything about this book right now, but this is just a book haul. If you like her writing and her way she tells stories, I definitely recommend this. After I finished Nightshade, I think I had like two or three books I still had to read before 
I read another five. So um, after that, I put in my last order of the month, and it was just four books. I've only received three of them so far because I went through an independent seller for another one, and I haven't gotten it yet. I did order Crest because I was unaware that this came out in paperback, and I've been waiting for it to come out in paperback because I've been too lazy to order the one on Book Depository. I did get it in paperback, and I'm not going to regret it because gotten the other ones in paperback so I don't care. I'll be reading this one hopefully in March and April. One of those because this book is on my Y'all West TBR which I've already filmed and uploaded. I'll link that down below if you would like to know what I'm trying to read before I go to Los Angeles in April. The next book I ended up getting was Cold Fire by Kate Elliott which is the second book in the Spirit Walker trilogy. I wanted to get the second one because I really love these covers and I want them all to look so pretty on my bookshelf. Like even like the spines. Like like look at that. Like the spines are so pretty. The one book that hasn't come in yet that I've ordered is actually the first book in the Inked Armor series. I don't know, duology. I got this book from Book Outlet but it was the second book and they didn't have the first book on there so I'm just like whatever I'll order the first book on my own so I did and it just hasn't come in yet. I didn't know this was Twilight fan fiction but unlike some other people I feel like that doesn't bother me at all that it was inspired by something else. Do we not read fairy tale retellings all the time and no one's like saying anything about that like oh well did you read the original Cinderella? That's what it was based off of. I don't think it's a bad thing if some things are inspired by Twilight, so whatever. Then the last book I ordered in that batch was Bloodlust by Michelle Rowan. I have since already read it and I'm still kind of in a hangover from it because I don't, I still, I'm just, I'm lost. It is a duology and it has a satisfying ending, but Morgan decided to tweet me that she had an idea for book three. Why did you tell me that? Because now I know it should have been more than two books. And now I'm just sad because I can see the so much potential of what this series could be, but it's just a duology. But it still, it doesn't end on a cliffhanger, so that's good. Because if it did, I would have been so pissed. The last books I have to show you guys were books that my dad and my stepmom got me at Barnes & Noble the last weekend of February. I went in knowing I wanted to get books that I haven't seen anybody talk about. And I think this is because I recently read Red Queen and it was so hyped up and I was really disappointed in what it was like that I'm just like, screw this, I want to get books that no one's talked about so I don't go into them with such high expectations. I ended up getting technically three books but really it's like six books. first book I decided to get was Chuck Powell next most recent book, Beautiful You. This book is the oddest book I've ever read because I've already started it because it's fairly short so I'm like oh I can breeze through this. So I'm over halfway through. I'm probably gonna finish it within the next couple days. One of the reasons why I was really drawn to this book was purely vain reasons and that is because it is signed and there are no books ever in my Barnes and Noble that are ever signed because I live in the middle of nowhere. And I wouldn't have gotten an adult hardback fiction book if it wasn't signed because this was $25. I don't have time for $25 books. Then I decided to go into the science fiction fantasy section of Barnes & Noble which is a section I don't usually go to and I just was like really in the mood for some like really good fantasy and like not YA fantasy like I'm trying to branch out you guys. Basically the next two books intrigued me for uh, physical reasons and the first one was its cover. The Midnight Queen. I love this cover. It is so pretty. It has to do with England and magic. I'm not quite sure what the time period is on this, but it follows a young man who um, is learning about magic in a, like a special Merlin college type deal. And then something happens really bad where he has to spend a certain amount of time with a professor in like the country. Then he ends up kind of meeting up with the, this professor's daughter and they start like getting to know each other. So there's like hoping on some really good romance in here because that's why I wanted to get it. They're also like trying to uncover a lot of like secrets and mysteries and things that have to relate to what's happened to him and why he got in trouble and stuff like that. And then the second book I saw that was sitting on the shelf <laughs> was this thing and it was just kind of hanging out there like this and I was kind of this this cover kind of you know appealed to me but then I was like trying to like pull it out I realized there was a lot more. I pulled it out and I looked at it and it's like three, it's the Inheritance Trilogy plus a novella. The first book, if you are interested, is called A Hundred Thousand Kingdoms. And I'm actually about to start 
buddy reading the first book with Kayla. I'm really excited to get into something that I haven't heard about before so that is why I solely got this book because I've heard no one talk about it and it just I was just in the mood to start something new. So that is it for my February book haul. What did you guys get? What was your favorite book you got? Mine was clearly The Nightshade Duology by Michelle Rowan I because I devoured those books in the same month. I hope you guys all have a really great day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! Thank you.